All right. Section 13.4 talks about solutions of linear differential equations by the Laplace transform. So this is kind of what we did. So do remember Laplace applied on f of t is really the Laplace applied on the y. And that is just f of s. The Laplace applied on the derivative. that is the Laplace applied on y prime, that is s times y of s minus y of zero, the initial condition. So if I start with this process, solve the differential equation by the method of Laplace transform. What I do, I apply Laplace on both sides of the equation. So this is going to be L of y prime plus 5, the Laplace applied on y, the Laplace applied on 0 is 0. So this right here is going to get me s times f of s minus y of 0, which is 3. This right here is simply 5 f of s. So the goal now is to find f of s and use the inverse Laplace transform To solve the problem. So if I factor f of s out of both of those, I'll notice there will be an s minus 3. So f of s would be 3 divided by s minus 3. And now if I apply the inverse Laplace transform, I'll get y, which is f of t, equaling 3e to the 3t. And if you use the table, you need to tell me what number is that. And we already know that's number 4. And there it is. So what did we just do? Well, we solved a linear differential equation without integrating. Using the table is really the integral, but just by the table. And if we apply Laplace transform on number for example b, we will get twice, again, this is provided, it's right there on the table at the very bottom, you can see it right there, so that would be twice y prime, and y prime is s times f of s minus y of 0, which is 1, plus 3 Laplace applied on y, we already know that's f of s, and that equals a 0. So if I distribute that in, I'm looking at twice s times f of s plus 3 f of s minus 2 equals 0. Move the 2 to the right, factor f of s out, you will have a 2s plus 3. So f of s would be 2 divided by 2s plus 3. To make it match, I would say f of s equal, I would divide each of those by a 2. And the reason I would do that, I want to match the table. And I notice in the table, number 4, that has to be a 1. The number in front of the s has to be a 1, so there it is. And now that I got f of s by itself, I apply the inverse Laplace transform, and I'll get f of t to equal e to the negative 3 halves t. And what allows me to do that is, again, number 4. So make sure you list what number you're using, otherwise you will get almost no credit. If I apply the Laplace on this, the Laplace applied on y prime is f times f of s minus a negative 2 minus 3 f of s equal. What's the Laplace applied on 2? The Laplace applied on 2 is 2 over s. Every time you use the table, you have to tell me by what. This is by 1. Now, if I factor 
f of s out, I will have an s minus 3. This is a plus 2. When I move it to the right, it becomes plus 2. So I could say f of s is, and I have a couple of options here. I could combine those into 1. I could just say that is 2 over s into s minus 3 plus 2 over s minus 3. It really doesn't matter. You could combine them into a single fraction. You could leave them two separate problems. Whatever works for you. It makes no difference. And how would that work? Well, f of s will equal this is 2 over s minus 3. I want to figure out Two over s into s minus three. That's a over s plus b over s minus three. So we know that a is negative two thirds, and b would be uh, two thirds. So that is two thirds times negative one over s plus 1 over s minus 3. Again, you could have gotten a common denominator. That probably would have made the problem a bit easier, but whatever works. And now if I apply the inverse Laplace transform, I will get the solution to the differential equations. That's 2 thirds times negative. So 1 over s really gives you a 1. That's by 1, plus e to the 3t, that's by 4, plus 2e to the 3t. And of course, you could combine those if you really play with it. You could leave it like that. It really makes no difference to me. And again, I'm trying to take into account all the different combinations you will ever come across. So this is s times f of s minus minus 7 f of s and what is the Laplace applied on e to the 7 e to the 70 is 1 over s minus 7 that is 1 over s minus 7 again you factor f of s out and you will get an s minus 7 And the two you move over. Again, you could combine those if you wish. I normally don't, but that's me. And f of s is going to be 1 over s minus 7 squared plus 2 over s minus 7. And now you apply the inverse Laplace transform to both sides. And you will get f of t equaling. This is 2 e to the 70, I know that by 4, but 1 over s minus 1 squared, s over 1 minus s squared, uh, right there, 1 over s minus 1 squared, so n is 1, the top should be 1 factorial, it is 1 factorial, right, it's right there, so it matches, the power n equal 1 and a equals 7. So n equal 1. I'm going to get t e to the 70 by 9. t e to the 70 by 9. And there it is. And that's really how this works. So I separate between second. The only difference between first order and second order. The second order looks like that. It's a bit longer. It might require partial fractions. So again, I'm taking into account all combinations that you ever come across. Let's take L of both sides. This is going to be L of Y prime. That's F, S, F of S, minus a 2, minus F of S, equaling, isn't that 1 over 
s minus 2 by 4. Again, we're going left to right. s minus whatever that is. Okay, if I factor f out of this, so f of s into s minus 1, move the 2 over, equal 1 over s minus 2 plus 2. So f of s is going to equal 1 over s minus 1 into s minus 2 plus 2 over s minus 1. I could get a common denominator. I'm going to show you just how that works instead of doing those individually. Or you could just do them individually and combine the answer at the end. Double test that. You could say that's over s minus 1 into s minus 2. Multiply this by s minus 2 top and bottom. That will be 2s minus 4 plus 1 is plus 3. And now you could do the partial fraction on this part only. It's up to you. So I figured that a equal negative 5 and b equal 7. And you can check. That's negative 5s plus 7s, which is 2s, and that's 10 minus 7, which is 3 there. So when you apply the inverse Laplace transform, you will get the solution, which is f of t equal negative 5 e to the t plus 7 e to the 2t. And again, you're going to tell me what did you use. Well, we used 4 on both of us. And that's pretty much it. One more problem to go. If I apply the Laplace on the left, and the right, I will get Laplace operated on y prime, that's s times f of s minus a zero, plus twice f of s. Now a sine is one over s, a sine is the angle over one minus s squared plus the angle squared. This is by five. Every time you use that table, you have to tell me what you're doing. If I factor f of s out, that would be f of s times s plus 2, equaling 1 over s squared plus 1. Did I do it right? Yeah. So, f of s would be 1 over s squared plus 1, times s plus 2. So now, I need to figure out where that came from. I need to figure out 1 over s squared plus 1 times s plus 2 comes out of a over s plus 1 plus bs plus c over s squared plus 1. <laughs> so I know a equals 1 half. And if I let s equal 0, I will get 1 over 2. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was s minus 1, not s minus 2. Wait. s plus 2. I made a mistake. I thought it was s plus 1. So s plus 2. Yeah, right, right there. That's s plus 2. So that's s plus 2. Okay, that changes things. That means a equals, uh, cancel, negative 2, 1 fifth. If I let s equals 0, I'll get 1 half equals 1 fifth over 2 plus c. I'll get 1 over 2 equal 1 over 10 plus c, or 5 equal 1 plus 10 c, or c equal 4 over 10 two-fifths. 
and if I let s equal 1, I'll get 1 over 2 times 3 equaling a 1 in there that's a 3, that's 1 over 15, plus a 1 in there, b plus 2 fifth over 2, so 6, 15, and 2 LCD is 30, 6, 5 equals 2 plus 15 B and 15 times 2 fifth 5 divided 15 3 times that's a 6 that is 8 that's negative 3 equal 15 B which indicates B is negative 1 fifth so all of that work to get F of S to equal and that's the majority of the work I'm gonna take 1 fifth out of all of this that is 1 over s plus 2 minus s over s squared plus 1 plus 2 over s squared plus 1 and if I apply the inverse Laplace transform on both sides I will get the solution which is f of t equaling 1 fifth times e to the negative 2t, this is 4, minus the cosine of 1t, and that is by 6, I believe, right there, s over s squared plus a squared, it's the cosine of what e squared, in this case it's a 1, plus here, if I look for 5, which is the sine, I need to whatever you square to get 2 to be that number and that's the sign well what do you square to get 1 so that's the 2 times the sign I'm gonna shrink this just a bit I know it's already small but that part we covered back when we did integration that's not part of this lesson that's something you should already know okay third time will be a charm and let's get that one I'm going to shrink that and shift it to the right. The sine of t, that's by 5. And that would be my final answer. So again, you're going to tell me what you're using every time. And that's where we're going to stop. I'll finish this up in our next lecture.